Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Protect them from harm? Okay, we'll take that. A recipe for a healing potion. We definitely need that. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Reducing the cooldowns. We need 1,200 coins. We just stole 60 coins. We only got 94. We can't get that yet. Powerful damage potion. We need that. Makes the drinker invisible. A. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. I grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. To increase their yield so there's a lot of good stuff we need to buy here too we need to get that money so now now that i know there's money in this game and we got to make money <laughs> i'm about to be making hella money we might even have to be a bootlegger out there on that campus in that castle and he's done i officially have all of my supplies excellent did you get what you needed for your sister i did so I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Oh, damn. Out of nowhere. And it's not taking damage. Away from the building! Away from the building! Oh! Well, this is crazy. Let's fight then. Oh, what a crossover move! Okay, so circle is to dodge. They didn't tell us that before. Oh! Oh, that's how I couldn't get out of there. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We'll We're doing a little bit of damage. 
I'm letting it fly. Ooh. I'm just dodging just to be sure. Hey. Okay, that one I could have blocked. A hold to do an ancient throw. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. So can we spam that? It looks like we can. That's a new move. Oh. Man, he got knocked out. Take that. And that. I'm just ancient throwing like a boss. Look at this. I'm cheesing. Oh, I can't do any more of them. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh. Crossover moves. Okay, here we go. So I don't know where the... Because I'm not paying attention, but... How do I know when I can let that fly again? Gotcha. All right, you know what? Hey. Oh, he's almost down. Gotcha. Got him. Hey, okay. He's too slow. He only hit me at the start because we didn't know what was going on. Got him. To the left, to the right. Hey. Ooh. Ancient magic. Oh, look at that cheese. Oh. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Okay, so it looks like we have two of that. Right? I guess R1 is... Oh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Are you going to give us some money? Okay, we just stole some more of his coins. Look at that. Just walk into the stores and steal their coins. Uh, repair. Oh yeah. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Oh yeah. Putting our spells to good use. And then we'll fix this up real good, right? Why not? And then how about that? Or actually, maybe we're not close enough. Repairer. There we go. You just got to get up close and personal. So now we'll do this statue. Put that statue back together. Nice. And then how about this? Fix this up real nice. All right, and then there's one more over here that broke down. Damn, we're just gonna repair the house like that. Let me see this cheese. Let me see this repair. Oh yeah, oh, that's glitchy. Okay. That's nice. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. 
Frankly, you deserve an order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Let's do it. Yes, we're not gonna say no, sir. We're gonna say thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? We gotta get some new drip. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Okay, so that's zero dollars, temporarily unavailable. So I guess it's just this. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. I'll be back when I get more money. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Now I need money because I'm seeing way too many shops, too many upgrades. We got to make this money. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. They're trying to kidnap. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. The three broomsticks is not where you get a broomstick. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. Now that voice is wild. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Not timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever.
Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Revelio. Okay, so I've seen a lot of these pages and I just forgot that I got to do that. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade? With Rookwood? The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Accio! Revelio. Ah, I believe we have some to discuss. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. 
Ready for another round? I think so. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. I know, Sebastian. I know. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Wands all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Let's do it. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Oh, there's three of them. Akio. Hey, we're letting that fly. Take Come on. <laughs> Let's go, so we learn something new every day. Ooh, my bad. Ooh, crossover. Right, let me take her down first since she doesn't have a shield up. Gotcha. That hurts, doesn't it? What a move. Ooh. Oh, we're taking hits. Got him. Oh, wait. Oh, crossover move. Gotcha. I'm letting it fly. Oh, that's glitchy. Uh-oh. <laughs> we took him down. It's a little sloppy. We'll get better. Bravo. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Okay, we got it. Levioso. Levioso. Good one. Without allowing the dummy to hit the ground. Levioso. Oh wait. I guess I messed that up. That was something. Levioso. Keep trying. Oh my bad. Okay, so what you have to do? You have to go here. Oh wait, I didn't even do it right. Look at that cheese. There we go. And then one, two, three. Let it fly. Okay. We're doing a hell of a combo right here. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, 
Focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. We're doing good, we got this. That fire's coming home. Good work. About to hit that level six. Incendio. Okay, so we're just burning stuff down. Oh, we gotta wait for it to look at that. <laughs> You're getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Now how are we gonna get across though? Repero! Oh, Repero! <laughs> That is funny because they did have spells like that. They just slap a O on top of it, you know, and it does something. <laughs> Repero.